I know, I know I'm early. I just hope it doesn't interfere with... Oh, I guess you're okay with it. I've never been so happy to see someone in my life. Good, because I uh, wanted to have some time with you before the funeral. How are you holding up? Well, I have to say goodbye to the man that I thought was my dad for eight years, and if that's not bad enough, my real dad is the prime suspect for his murder. <laughs> I don't know how you do it, Star. I wouldn't be able to if I didn't have you. And I'm not going anywhere. Have you seen him? What is this, a uh, woodchuck? A woodchuck? Oh, no, no, wait. I, I saw what he's on a nature special. It's a uh, honey badger, right? <laughs> Unbelievable. Do you know how much I pay in school taxes? Didn't they ever teach you to identify a porcupine when it's right in front of your nose? Okay. Whatever. Whatever? You're calling Morris or whatever? This is the most special animal in the world. And I gotta find him. It's a matter of life and death. Life and death, it's it's a stuffed animal. You're calling him a toy? This is a perfect specimen of taxidermatology, and he's been kidnapped. You gotta be alive to be kidnapped. Well, you know, technically, I admit I put him up for sale, and whoever took him, you know, got him for peanuts. He's worth more than that. Don't tell me that's not a crime. Oh, I'm not going to try to tell you anything. Why did I give him up? How could I give him up? That was so stupid of me, especially what's going on inside of him. What's he got inside of him? Uh, a heart. Like, you know, like a really, really big heart. You know, like a human being, like, you know, would have a heart because he's family to me. But he's a porcupine. Yeah, but no, you know, family is family, and when it comes to mine, there is nothing that I won't do. Jack is having the roughest time out of all of us because to him, there is no question. He's 100% positive that his real father killed the man that he will always see as his dad, and he's so mad about it, and it's tearing my family apart. Yeah, I can imagine it is. I mean, being on opposite sides when you need each other the most. But my dad didn't do it. I know that he didn't because he came to me and he told me that he's innocent. And you believe him? It may sound like the craziest thing, but I am the only person in this world that my dad can't lie to. So when he looked me in the eye and told me that he didn't do it, that was enough for me. Well, do the cops have any other suspects? Well, I'm sure that there are other people. Like who? Baz's father has an alibi, but Baz doesn't seem to buy it. You think Tomas Delgado could have shot Victor? No, I hope... I. I hope not. I hope not, because that would make a lot of people more upset than they already are. He's, he's Taya's brother, he's Danny's uncle, and he seems to be really important to my mom, too. Okay, okay, I get that you need to find this thing. I, I mean this very special porcupine. But if the flyers aren't working, you gotta try something else. I went to the cops. You know, Johnny McBain is a very close and personal friend of mine. I was thinking something more serious than that. Aren't you friends with a psychic? Delfina, oh my god, why did I think of that? You're a genius. I thought I hadn't learned anything. Well, shut up, I gotta make a phone call. It's Delfina. Yeah, you, you knew. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'm over at the bell. Yeah, yeah, I get, you know. Yeah, you know? You know? <clears throat> Delfina, she knows everything. She knew that Morris was missing. All right, well, I guess we just gotta sit and wait. That's all. Oh, this is so story. Yeah. Big news. You know, it's such a pity when someone so young and so good-looking cashes in all the chips. Was he a personal friend of yours, too? Mm, not exactly, but he was Nanny's uncle. He was Danny's uncle, too. Although she thought of him as her father. She's gotta be going through hell right now, especially today with the funeral and everything. Why aren't you over there? Aren't you her boyfriend? I am sure I'm the last person Danny wants to see. So okay? Yeah, she's with Grandma now. It was so sweet. The second Hope saw me, she ran up to me and gave me a big hug like she knew I needed it. Well, it's like I said, kids pick up on stuff. I know, and there's so much sadness in this house. It, I know that she senses that. I just keep trying to keep her focused on the happy stuff. And I am going to do the same thing for her mom. So, 
What's going on with this demo? Your text you sent me was kind of vague. I wanted to tell you about it in person. Baz found someone to produce it. No way. That's awesome. It's not awesome. Good luck with Morris. I know you'll find him. I hope so. Could you post this? Oh, uh, where are you going? I'm gonna head home. Do not, I repeat, do not go home. Go to her. Who? You know who. She needs you. Move. Now? Brick. That sleaze who forced Nate and Dina to make that porn? I know. Can you believe it? Well, since when is he a record producer? I guess he wanted to branch out. I looked him up online, and he has all of the credentials. Well, he's still a creep star. I know, and that's why I told Baz that I don't want anything to do with him. And Baz was okay with that? I didn't give him a choice. Baz did not think it was a good idea to blow off this guy because Rick is the only producer that gave us an offer. No. He's the first guy to give you an offer. There's a big difference. Star, have you have you heard this? Because I have. And I promise you there are going to be a ton of people out there who hear your incredible, amazing voice and know that this song is a hit. Okay, James. No, I'm serious, Star. So don't settle for some low-rent producer because you're way too good for that. And you're not being prejudiced or anything? No, I'm not. I just want the best for you. And, and I'm sure Baz does too, but he also wants to get his music out there. So you have to make him understand that sometimes you just need to wait for the right thing to come along. Hey, that did pay off before. Look at this. I got you, don't I? Hey, is everything okay? Yeah, uh, everything's cool. I just gotta go take care of some music stuff. Okay. See you later. I know you said we shouldn't see each other, but I've been thinking about you. Especially after I found out about your dad. About Victor. I just wanted you to know I'm so sorry. Thanks. Losing your dad, it hurts even when you don't care about the guy. And I know how much you loved yours. Yeah, I did. I just, I hate that this happened to you. That's nice of you to say. I didn't come here to be nice, Danny. I came here because I can't stay away. And I know that I promised you I would. But you shouldn't have to go through this by yourself. What time is it? <sighs> you gotta get to church. Sure, okay. I'm really glad that you're gonna be staying next to me today. Oh, Star, I love you. Where else would I be? I promise that it's not gonna be like it has been the past few weeks. It's gonna get, it's gonna get better for us, okay? I promise. I know that. I'm in this thing for the long haul. The good, the bads. I'm in this for everything we come up against. Mm -hmm.